Hey guys, I'm Nick with Tech Nick. You ever get tired of all the crumbs and crap and crud in your keyboard and your gaming peripherals? Well, we might have a solution today with the Air Duster. Let's check it out. So this one is fairly simple, right? It's just an air dust blowing. It's a, it's a, it's a blower. Now we got this on Amazon. We did notice that these went on sale, so they have gone down in price. So we pulled this off of the shelf since it had a price move and we decided to open it since you might be looking at this as a possible solution. So it says here that um, it's a type C charger and, we, and this, is, this is an import. So some of this is always funny to me. It has strong wind, high power, Three speed wind, why do you, like, it's, it's got a lot of energy in this one. You cannot stop this, even if you want to. This thing's got so much energy, it should be bottled up and sold. It's like that key and pill, let's get lightning in a jar. No, I got that. But anyway, let's pull all of this out and see what we're looking at here. Is that like a forensic kit? Uh, it's all these different little attachments and nozzles and, and uh, so that you can have some different ways of cleaning or using the device, which is pretty cool. We've got a couple of things that do not attach to the device, a couple of brushes. This very aggressive toothbrush that looks like it's from Shaquille O'Neal's bathroom. It's from a grill. Yeah. Or a grill cleaner. Shaq's grill or your barbecue grill. That's the size of this apparatus right here. We've got a brush, um, looks like a soft bristled hair, hair pick. And then this thing, um, but I, I don't know like practical application for that. Like there's probably like a very specific, like I'm an idiot, like always. And like, this is for your camera lens, duh. Like, but anyway, a couple of attachments here. Now this one looks pretty purposed. This is like a little fan. It's got a little tiny like tip opening in the end of this. This is focusing all of that air down through this cone and out this little tip. That increased the airflow quite a bit. That was substantial. Let's uh, see what we do here. That's pretty good. Just out of the... It does have a little light that turns on so that you can kind of aim this. Oh, I guess if you're down on like a motherboard or in inside of a, the crevasse. Um, so let's pull out a couple of devices that are got a little bit of funk in them. This is gonna get loud, buckle up. You getting spinning? No? It is spinning now. You hear it? Do you hear it? Listen. Okay, so that's the lowest setting. Let's go all the way. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna. Uh, no kidding, I can feel that. From here, over here. right, okay. All right, let's play with another one. And this is an, an old PS2. This is gonna be hard to film. And it's probably going to blow in my face, so I'm probably going to regret doing this, but just for the video's sake, just for you guys, because I love you, I'm gonna risk blowing 20-something-year-old funk into my face for like a $40, $50 device. Sounds about right for the channel. My medical bills are out of control. I need you guys to subscribe right now, please. It's coming out. Oh. Not as strong as if I'm taking like a, an air compression tank and and blowing this out, which on as long as it's not a delicate item, that is what I normally use for a travel version or for one that you might want to be able to use in an office. This is a pretty good travel size. I'm just gonna see this brush. See, I don't. It does kind of get down inside of the uh, ports there, maybe down into a USB port part of the brush maybe let's try this one well, that's a little bit better actually it does kind of get in there the little circular one it does come with a little travel bag or have a travel holster now this one's more aggressive so I don't know that I would use this I don't know where I would use this do they say where they would use this so the illustrations here might be worth showing and saying, hey, you can blow your car. You can blow your computer. That didn't come out right. You can blow your camera. Really? Nothing. 
You can blow your sofa. You, you buy yourself a tape recorder, you just record yourself for a whole day. I think you're gonna be surprised at some of your phrasing. You can blow the door seals. Nothing wrong with that. And then this one, which I think is maybe the best one. Um, you can point this at an open flame and make the flame bigger. <laughs> so like, you got you need to burn some trash. Wah! And the next thing you know, you're like an airbender. This one to me kind of makes sense that it, maybe I'm gonna run across my keyboard. Let's look at this one since it does have a brush on it. And let's see if we can see any magic happening here. Now again, this isn't a vacuum. So it, it's a little defeatist in the fact that we're just gonna blow it out. We're not picking it up and taking it away. It's going to land somewhere else and be someone else's problem. Hey, you know what? If you're one of those people that sit in Starbucks and sip on one coffee for $5 and use their Wi-Fi all day, you're the kind of person that wants this. You use it, blow it out in their floor, make it somebody else's problem, right? That's you. Pick this thing up. Let's try it. Oh, that's a caressing. Now, okay, so all kidding aside, a little bit of debris was actually coming up. Let's go all the way. You never go full fan. The wind speed. Category five right now. I don't think you can hear me at all. Here, let's do one more. A receipt printer, thermal receipt printer. These are notorious for getting gunked up with junk and debris. Nick, so, why do we have a thermal receipt printer? Well, because like you might've heard in other videos or maybe not, maybe this is the first one, we've reopened one of our loves, which is our video game electronics store called Game Switch. It's back open with tons of stuff. Games all the way back to the Atari and Commodore and whatever, and collectibles like you can't imagine. Probably a fairly decent Star Wars collection. Um, hey, there you go. You could use that. that anybody would be proud of. You could use that to clean shoes or figurines and stuff. Sure, I could use this on Star Wars miniatures yes. to give the illusion of wind in space because there's not any. <laughs> that might be the weirdest. <laughs> I don't understand. Three second holds a little annoying. Let's be honest. God, I kind of feel like a doctor when they get in there. Say, uh, well, I don't know. That's not really, that's not really giving me what I want to see there. All right, we'll do one more because John's just in the mood where he just wants to keep throwing stuff at me. Um, so old cartridge games, right? Everybody used to take them and blow them and spit on them and whatever, right? It actually did much more damage than it helped. Putting the game in, taking it out, and putting it in is eventually what fixed the problem. The, the little nodes here would line up correctly after you did it a hundred times. Blowing on it was actually only putting funk nastiness inside the games and causing problems for much further down the road. Now that was a one click. Okay, so no, that's not gonna get, that's not enough force to, a brute force to actually clean the nodes in this. But I will say this, the proper way to clean a cartridge, this is viewer discretion, you are liable for your stuff, not me. But here's my trick. I take a very, very, very small amount of Brasso on a Q-tip and run it across these nodes top and bottom and just kind of scour the thing with a soft Q-tip for just a little bit and then some rubbing alcohol and I get all of it off immediately. I don't want to leave the Brasso on because it'll, it'll eat at the game. This little adapter here would be very nice to run past it after and get it to dry very quickly. Um, could be a clever little use, but as far as, unless you've got like chunks of debris or dust in there, this isn't going to hard clean. I mean, I don't think that we thought it would, but John keeps throwing stuff at me. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> would this work better if it were a little vacuum that had like a little pouch here that we could dump out and we were actually cleaning up? Yeah, I think it would. If I'm just being honest, I don't know a number of applications that I would need to spend $60 on this device for. That's my fair take, right? Is it nice? Yes. Is it capable? Yes. Does it have strong wind? Yes, it has strong wind. Um, that is trademarked by the people at Zalimi or whatever this was called. Um, it has strong wind. You are right. I just don't know that it has enough practical application that this is something that you'd want to pick up. However, we wanted to test it and see with the price drop up from $100 down to $59.99, I think is where we picked this up at, and see what we think. You do have all the attachments. You do have a travel bag. It is nice and sleek, it is powerful, it is loud, and it is only going to blow your mess around to another place. So if you're looking for a way to relocate small messes quickly 
and loudly, this is the way to go. Guys, I appreciate you as always. Thank you so much for your support of the channel. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. <laughs>